Hey guys, how a video game here, and today is the first episode of my Will It Pack Punch series, and it's also my first video on this channel, and I'm going to be talking about in this series, each gun in the game I'm going to go over and see if it will pack punch, so um, I'll give it like a rating on how fun it is, how good it is for camping, and how good it is for training. Um, the way I'm going to decide which gun I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll a random weapon in the box, and whatever I get is what I'm going to pack punch. So let's start this off right now and see what the first thing I get is. Alright, so the first gun we're going to do this uh, in this series is the SVG, which is a um, bolt action sniper rifle. It one shots pretty far around, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. I've actually never pack punched this thing, so that's going to be a pretty cool um, first weapon to do, because I've never used it before pack punch. So it'll mainly be based off of this gameplay, so hopefully I don't screw up too bad. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. As a non-pack punch this gun, bleh, um, this gun is actually pretty good, um, for training. But it can get kind of dangerous when you get really close up because you just have absolutely no, like, fire speed. It's just so slow, it's just like one. Now I can shoot again, it just takes forever. So it's not really safe to use up close because you get too close and there'll be a group of them. We'll take one of them out and the other won't be able to be you won't be able to stop them because your like gun doesn't shoot fast enough. So that's his biggest downside, the fact that it can't really like hold up against a group that's really close to you, but other than that, it's pretty good on pushed by itself. for money. I do it for... Alright, so as you can see in that last clip, even though there was no commentary over that, unless there is, and I put it in later. But if there's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it kind of glitched out for a second. I still have a really, it didn't really glitch out. But um, as you can see in that last clip, it's actually pretty good for camping. I didn't really expect it to be, but um, on pack punch is pretty good for camping. And right there I pack punched it, or I guess right here because this is live, but whatever. Right here I pack punched it, and I actually have never seen this thing before pack punched. And it looks pretty cool, and it has a really weird name. But uh, I'm ready to try this thing out. Um, training. So, let's do this thing. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. It, let's see how fast it shoots. Alright, so it shoots at about the fast, or at about the same speed as it did with unpack punched. So it's not the greatest speed, but it'll do. Uh, I need to get double tap soon because you know double tap's kind of important, <laughs> especially when you have snipers that shoot extremely slow. Um, but honestly, I really like the snipers in this game. They're like probably the best type of gun if you know how to use them. The Draken is like unbelievably good. Everyone knows that by now, I'm sure though. It's just so overpowered. It, like one shots until super far rounds. It's bolt action or not bolt action, semi-auto. That's like the reason. It's good. Okay, so, this gun training right now is working out pretty well. It just took out a pretty big train. But I don't really see any difference between this and the non pack punch version. But I mean, it's doing good. So, I don't really see any reason to pack punch this early. It's pretty much just the same exact thing on pack punch, except it does more damage. Um, there's nothing more, there's faster fire rate or more ammo. Or actually, that's not true, there is more ammo. So I take that back. It has four more bullets in the magazine, which, I mean, could be a game changer if you really need four more bullets. 
I guess. But, I mean, nothing too big. But let's see how it is with double tap. I'm sure it'll be a lot better with double tap. Just because double tap's awesome. Um, but so far I'm liking it. Uh, like, just how it is. Yeah, pack punch. Let's pick up double tap. Oh god, that was bad. Could have gone down there and that would have been embarrassing. I would prefer a half of uh, all right, let's see how fast this thing shoots. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, awesome. I think I can live with that. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna farm a little bit, train a little bit, and see. Uh, all right, well, here I'll do this live, and then I'll do some more after, and we'll see how good this is. This way, and then I'll do camping later, and see how good this camp. So yeah. All right. Let's do this. Can I like hit fire at So that's getting killed still, that's pretty awesome. Um, this gun... I mean, this is true for pretty much every gun ever when it comes to training, but this seems like it'd be really good for blast burners. Just because blast burners most training. And then when camping, I'd probably say turned would be the best one for this gun. Just because pretty much any gun that can't shoot fast turned is the best for camping because when you need to reload uh, you're in between shots your turn zombie will just kind of protect you keep you alive for a little bit so yeah I recommend for if you're gonna be farming or training then I definitely recommend um, blast furnace and that pretty much goes for any gun honestly but if you're gonna be camping such as like up there then I recommend turn. so yeah I'll be right back with some more uh, non-life. Awesome. Alright, so I lied about the not live part. It is live, but um, here's some gameplay of camping. I'm gonna see how far I can get while just flat out camping with this gun. I don't know how far it'll be, but I mean, it's worth seeing how good it can be for just all out camping. Um, I know for a fact that it's gonna be good farming, oh, or for training, sorry, I keep saying farming, I don't know. But, um, it'll be good for camp, or training up until a certain point, until there's so many zombies that you can't just, like, get around them. Um, it's not great, I would not recommend it for training, I'd probably give it, like, a 5 out of 10 for training, just because it can't really take out a large group of them at a time, unless they're in, like, a straight line. Um, which is what makes this spot so perfect for this gun just take out like eight zombies in one shot if they're all lined up correctly. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, yeah, right there. That's a perfect example of what makes this gun hard to use. It shoots so slow. So, I, I got, that was embarrassing, honestly. I mean, that shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have died there. I'll be able to get, I'll be, I'll be fine. No, I'll be able to get back up on my feet. I'm going to grab quick revive. But, that's a perfect example of why this gun can be kind of dangerous for everything. It just shoots really slowly, and if you get stuck in that corner and there's a zombie on you, you can't really hit fire it. You kind of have to be dead on with it, and if you miss, too bad. <laughs> there's really nothing you can do from that point. You're just kind of screwed. You have to sit there, hoping that you hit him. Like, look at that, have, see, look, look, oh, 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 that nuke kind of saved my life, that was lucky. Um, but that time I hit him, so, that kind of shows how random this gun is, it can be dead on or it cannot be. So, I mean, I would really not recommend this gun, honestly, for higher rounds. I would recommend, oh, oops, I would definitely say this is more of a co-op gun when you have someone covering you and you don't have to be fully focused on everything and someone else can just watch it back for you and take care of everything you don't need to. so when you're bolting the actions you can have someone covering you but um other than that this gun's pretty fun um when you're f training it's more fun than it is when you're camping because camping can just be really boring unless you have like an LMG or the Draken because the Draken is just awesome camping because <laughs> you can just melt everybody super fast but the main reason that I don't like this gun it honestly just feels like a really weak version of the Draken if you're gonna get a sniper rifle 
either get a locust or a dragon. Both of them are better than this gun. This gun shoots slowly, and it shoots like inaccurately compared to the dragon and the locust, and it's just not as good as them. So I would say stick with the dragon, stick with the locust. Um, if you want, you can use this gun camping, but be careful. I would recommend it in co-op over anything else. But um, to answer the question, will it pack a punch? Uh, I'm going to give it a yes, but only in co-op, because solo, this gun can't really hold up. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, right there. Um, it can't protect you, really, when you get stuck in a corner, and it can't really keep you alive long enough to actually do it. So, yeah, will it pack punch? Um, no, not in solo. Yes, in co-op. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you want more, make sure you leave a like below and subscribe, and, um, leave any criticism in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time on Willow Peck Bye!